In this video, I'll explain what is lambda expression with a simple example. Before we jump into the definition of lambda expression, let's see why do we need a lambda expression. So what is the purpose of lambda expressions in Java? Uh, so it was basically introduced as part of Java 8 uh, version. So before that, we don't have lambda expressions. And why do we need lambda expressions? So why can't the typical object-oriented programming of like Java couldn't solve the problems we have today? The answer is yes, it can solve. So by introducing lambda, it's a much more efficient way of solving the same problems. Okay, so the object-oriented has its like uh, classes, methods, and uh, uh, interfaces, polymorphism, all those like uh, co concepts still exist. It's not gone with lambda expressions. It's, um, if you think of lambda expressions, it's, it's a way of implementing the interfaces. So I'll, I'll get into the details when we do the lambda expression examples and uh, you'll, you'll understand better. But let's dive into like um, what problems does it solve? So um, the, the functionality is going to be the same, but uh, the, the problems what we, what we are solving here is parallel processing is one of the main problem it solves. So all this like latest CPUs comes with, CPU comes with like a four core, like multi-core processing. So if you do the typical programming of Java through looping through each and every uh, logic, uh, it won't use the multi-core processing capability of a CPU. So you need Lambda expressions to do parallel processing. So you'll understand better when we do some examples. Uh, the, the typical example is that streams, when we do that streams, so you'll know like how the parallel processing is achieved. Um, so it helps, eventually it helps with like the application performance, right? So um, you'll process the logic much faster than like uh, the typical synchronous way of processing with a single threaded environment. So, uh, as you know, Java 5 introduced uh, annotations and generics. Uh, so Java 8 has uh, revamped to Lambda's uh, functional interface, streams. So these are the some of the highlights of Java 8. 8. Um, so we'll get into each and every concept later in different videos. But this video, I'm going to focus only on Lambda expression. Uh, I'll do an example at the end to help you understand better. So lambda expression is nothing but an anonymous function. So in Java, any code we write, we write it within a class and within a method. So you create classes and you create method and you write the logic, business logic inside the method. But in this case, um, imagine you don't have to write all that boilerplate code of creating a class and the method um, names and signature. You can just write the functionality as it is, as an expression. So th that's why the Lambda expressions are so powerful. So it, it is a concept called functional style programming. So it's not object oriented style programming. So you implement a function using just a Lambda expression. Okay, so uh, it, it saves like a lot of boilerplate code and it's much more readable. Um, so anonymous is class, as I said, it's without a class name. Um, and the anonymous function is the function without a function name or a method name. Okay, so this is a functional style programming. So, uh, so what are the characteristics of this anonymous function? So, uh, as we, as I told, there is no method name required for anonymous function, and there can be parameters passed. So, as you have parameters for the methods, you can have parameters for uh, lambda expression. So, method body. So, whatever we write in the method is also applicable for lambda expression. You can just write it within a method method body um, in the lambda, and that there, there could be return type for lambda expression. Next, uh, let's see some of the advantages of lambda expressions. So. Uh, lambda expressions are function as a variable. So wh what I mean by function as variable is, so you can store the entire function or the method in a variable name. So typically in Java, what we do is we store a value, integer or like some, some object in a variable and then we pass that variable across to different methods or different classes. So we, we don't have the concept of like, at least till Java 8, we didn't have the concept of uh, passing the entire method as a variable. 
So the Lambda Expressions achieves just that. So you can just store the entire functionality of the method in just a variable and then pass it across. So it's called behavior as a parameter. So uh, it is very convenient if uh, in case of uh, multiple classes using the same behavior, you just pass it across. And, and it saves like a lot of boilerplate code. Let's see the syntax for Lambda expressions. Uh, so if you can see the parameters on the left side with an arrow mark, which is the Lambda expression, and the right side is the expression. So right side is the implementation typically. So this is what we are implementing. Okay, so you can also have like a parameters, multiple parameters and multiple statements on the right side. Uh, obviously you have to have that braces if you have multiple statements. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, create a simple Lambda expression. So I'm using uh, Spring tool suite. You, you can use like IntelliJ or Spring. Uh, Let's create a new project called Lambda Demo. So you can call it any name. So I'm just going to use other default for the rest. And say next and create the project. So I'm just creating a sample Java project. So the recommended is a lowercase for module name, but uh, for now you can just ignore the module name. So it's not important for this demo. So I'm going to create a new class um, called um, say com.coderulahum with the package name. Of course, you can have any package you want. Um, and the name of the class, let's call it as um, Lambda Demo. And public static void main, and let's finish it. OK, let's take a simple example of uh, printing a list of string values. Okay, So I'm going to create a list of uh, string. Um, so I just copied it uh, to just to save some time. Uh, so I'm creating a new uh, name, array list with uh, uh, list of strings. Um, so just importing the packages, required packages, array list and list. Um, and so all I'm doing is like adding a few names, Tom, Sam, Ram, uh, Ram and Ravi. So uh, here uh, my requirement is just to print it. Okay, so I'm not going to use the Lambda expressions for now. So I'm just going to print it the old way. So uh, typically what we do is any functionality, we write a new method and uh, we pass the uh, list and then just print the uh, list there. So just to externalize the logic in a separate method or separate class. So I'm just going to create a new static void print functionality method, a print name. And this uh, method is going to take the argument of the name list. Okay, so it takes the argument of name list and then prints the prints each and every name in that list. So this is a simple requirement. So nothing complex in it. Um, so a list of strings and uh, I'm, I'm going to use like a for loop here. Uh, it's not recommended. So just to demonstrate that uh, how simple is Lambda expression, I'm using that. Um, so just for int zero, int le I less than the name list dot size, and then just I plus um, plus. So just iterate it, iterates each and every element in the list, and we are going to just do a sys out and print it. Okay, so here name list dot uh, since it is an array list, just get off that counter like get i. So this will get each and every name and just print it. Okay, so for Java before Java five maybe just around Java five it might be okay to just call this method uh, like this and pass the name array list and this is perfect and you you can go to prod with this code so nothing is wrong with this like if you are in Java five. But let's, let's run this and see if it works. So it, it, it works. So it just prints all the names here. Let's see how we can simplify this print name method and write it as a Lambda expression. So definitely we don't have to write like this five lines of code to print a list of strings. So we can definitely get rid of this and write it as a simple Lambda expression. Okay, I'm going to just copy this name list and then just do name list dot for each. Okay, so for each is one of the method introduced as part of Java 8. Before that, we didn't have that. And what it takes is it takes a consumer functional interface. I'll, I'll talk about functional interface separately in a different video. But consumer is nothing but a functional interface which which has like a one abstract method. Um, so when whenever we write Lambda expressions, we Typically, we, we basically have to implement the functional interface. 
that's the contract we abide to when we are using lambda expressions okay so for each um, all i'm doing here is uh, we, i need to pass the consumer interface right so um, lambda expressions as i told this is the syntax for lambda expression so you pass the parameters in the left side and then arrow mark and the expression on the right side so you are basically implementing that consumer interface uh, method one of the abstract method and just uh, writing it as an expression so here in this case all we have to pass in the left side is name so if you notice that name is the uh, in each element we get name from that list one string so name can be any other variable so uh, and we are just going to print it as system.out.println so if you notice that the line number 27 has this like one line of like functionality that is written in this line number 19 with just a, a lambda expression so name arrow mark system.out.println of name so we can comment rest of the code and we these are like boilerplate code which we can avoid by just writing that lambda expressions so let's comment this and then now uh, yeah let, let's let's run this example and see if it works okay i'm just going to run it as a uh, java program and it, it works so uh, if you see that uh, the, the, all this boilerplate code is achieved uh, with just one line of lambda expressions um, so it, it is that powerful so it, it's a complete change in paradigm of like uh, writing a functional style programming instead of uh, the object oriented and se sequential type of programming so this this lambda expression as you can see that uh, the, the system dot out print ln is the the functionality and the, the right side is the actual implementation and left, left side is the uh, the parameters to that method so we are basically implementing an interface uh, here the interface is the consumer interface uh, so we'll talk about uh, the functional interfaces more in a separate video so it's as a completely new uh, separate topic uh, we can um, i'll explain in detail uh, but i hope you understand the basics of lambda expression and why do we need it uh, and the advantages uh, to of using lambda expressions how the how it makes the code much looks much uh, uh, much more readable um, so let, let's uh, uh, get into the details of like functional interfaces in the next one uh, hope you like the video uh, thanks for watching